afternoon, Mr. Kelly. I believe you've come to see Alana. Yes. Please, take a seat. Is there a problem? No, quite the contrary, I'm pleased to say. Alana's just been reunited with her family. What? Her family's in the future. Jenny, could you explain, please? Well, it's quite simple, really. Her father saw her on the television, and the police directed him here. He's a charming gentleman. Silverthorne! Jenny! You let Silverthorne take her! Mrs. Jenkins, would it be possible to get the name and address of Alana's father? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to do that. But he's not her father! He's from the year 2500! Please! I'm very worried about Alana's welfare. I suggest you say if you're concerned for your own daughter. At least Alana's receiving psychiatric help. How can you be sure it was her real father? Mrs. Kelly, I'm not in the habit of releasing our girls to people who just walk in here off the street. Alana's father had enough documentation to convince me. But he faked it from the time capsule computer? Jenny, I'm afraid I'm a very busy woman. Please. But he's trying to stop her returning to her own time. Jenny, I can give you the number of a good child psychologist. And I can tell you where to stick it. Hasn't Eddie done a nice job decorating it for you? You can't keep me here. Oh, yes, I can. Everyone thinks you're my daughter. I won't show you how to use the transducer. That's not what I want. I've got a brain tumour, Alana. The doctors here are useless, and I've run out of medication. I don't have long to live. I don't believe you. Well, you better, because you're my last hope. I want you to use the transducer to cure me. I can't. You can't. Can. So you just sit back and watch me die. Curing a brain tumour is complicated. I haven't been trained to do it. You said on television you could stimulate the body to heal itself. I can. The brain is delicate. I don't know enough. I could kill you. <laughs> I'm going to die anyway. I'll make a deal with you. You heal me, I'll let you go back in the capsule. You've got eight days. That's not enough time. Well, it'll just have to be. Oh, by the way, I think this belongs to you. AJ? I want to be your friend, Alana. You help me, we both get what we want. video did you see her no why not apparently her father picked her up her what mum it was silverthorne jenny you don't know that and if you hadn't lost your temper i might have found out what really happened at least i didn't sit down and suck up to her like you did don't you dare speak to me like that i don't care about alana what do you care about is your dumb shop and your stupid boyfriend? Jenny! Mm. Mr. Silverthorne? What is it? Uh, the girl wants to see you. Have you changed your mind? If I help you, will you let me go back with the capsule? Of 
Of course I will, Alana. I promise. Where's the transducer? Eddie. You'll have to lie down. Don't try anything stupid. I've sworn the hill is I can't harm him. Just give it to her, blank brain. Breathe deeply. Relax. Now, concentrate on the area where you feel pain. Give me something to eat. All of a sudden, I feel quite hungry. Jenny didn't start another fight, did she? No. She didn't come to school. Oh, James, I'm at my wit's end. She won't even talk to me. I'm afraid she's going to do something stupid. She's convinced Silverthorne is holding Alana prisoner. Well, why don't we go and ask her? Easy for you. 
But I want you to know I'm very grateful. Anything you want, anything at all, just ask. I just want to go home. Alana, this could be a home. Time capsule leaves tomorrow night. You said I could go with it. Alana! You gave me your word. <laughs> We've got visitors. <laughs> Get back to your own time. You'll say exactly what I tell you. I can't lie. Well, you better learn fast, or else someone might get hurt. I don't care if you hurt me. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about your friends. <laughs> What am I going to say when he answers? Well, just tell him we want to speak with Alana. This is a stupid idea. I bet he won't even let us in. You lose. Yes? Come see Alana. We'd like to speak to Mr. Silverthorne, please. Tell him it's Mrs. Kelly and Mr. Rooney. We'd like to talk about Alana. Ah. Won't you come in? Hi. Uh, Mrs. Kelly and uh, Mr. Rooney here to see you, sir. Ah, come in, come in. I'm so pleased to see you. Alana's told me so much about you. Would you like some tea? Edward, bring some tea. Tea? Yes, tea, Edward. Tea? <laughs> please, please, why don't you sit down? Now, what can I do for you, Irene? You don't mind if I call you Irene? Oh, no. Where's Alana? And you must be Jenny. Yes, I've heard a lot about you. You know, Alana has never had a real friend before. She's missed you. Let me see her. All in good time. I can't tell you how grateful I am to you all for looking after my daughter. I was frantic with worry, especially as her mental condition at the time was so unstable. Mental condition? Hmm. Alana has a history of psychological disturbances. It all began shortly after her mother died. She started telling people I wasn't her father, that her real parents were from the future or another planet, and that I'd kidnapped her. And then she started running away. Well, I blame myself. Work kept me away from her, and she suffered because of my selfishness. Tea. Sorry, there's no milk. It's off. Thank you, Edward. That will be all. But by golly, things are going to be different from now on. I'm going to make it up to her. Must have been very difficult for you. Mum, don't listen to him. He's making it all up. Jenny. You're a liar. You're not her father. Jenny. I'm sorry, she's obsessed with this idea. No, 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 no. That's quite understandable. Alana can be very convincing. Jenny, would you believe me if Alana confirmed what I said? I might. Edward, call Alana. <laughs> She'll be down in a moment. Please, I must ask you all to be very careful with her. She's stable now, but her doctor has warned me that any form of excitement could trigger a relapse. Yes, we understand. No, Jenny. Darling, I've told them that you made the whole story up, but Jenny would like to hear it from you. Now, come on, darling. You know it's always best to tell the truth. Everything I told you was a lie. I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused. Nana! No, it's not true. He's making her say it. Mum, do something! Well, what about the transducer? Hmm? Yeah, explain how.
how she levitated things. No. Oh. Watch. <laughs> a simple illusion. Before I retired, I was a stage magician. And I'm afraid that Alana has inherited my talent for making people believe what simply isn't true. That's quite a trick. Thank you. No. He wants us to think it's a trick, so that we'll leave him alone with the capsule. These shelves, they're fake. The capsule's behind me. It's falling down. Jenny, that's enough. Tell them the truth! I can't apologize enough, Mr. Silverstein. Oh, no, no, no. That's quite all right. I understand how emotional young girls can be. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Say goodbye, Alana. Goodbye, Jenny. I don't believe you. Let it go, Jenny. Congratulations, you little scrag. They believed every word you said. I've kept my side of the bargain. And tomorrow night, when the capsule leaves, you'll be on it. Jenny, I don't know if you'll ever read this. I'm sorry I had to lie to you. If the capsule leaves tomorrow, I couldn't go without saying goodbye. Any more disruptions? Hey, Joy. Oh, Jenny, wait.
come, kid. 